in this quarter uh, three of our businesses usa uh, india specifically and as well as europe has a really sustained uh, performance of base business in usa in absence of any new approval there have been very good performance uh, continued on the injectables portfolio the valgan cyclovir continued to do well and have it all what we acquired several quarters back uh, have been performing as per expectation in india uh, there is some advantage of uh, of course some cut off what we said uh, during the last quarter but uh, even if we adjust for it there has been a very good growth and of course that ucb acquisition what we had and that has been performing completely in line with our expectations usa uh, the couple of molecules we launched earlier have really given us good profitable growth the emerging markets of course has had lot of challenge specifically you know in russia what uh, in q3 a515 we used to get 1.3 rupee against 1 ruble which has come down to about a rupee a ruble in q3 and actually you know if you look at the current ruble rupee which is even around 88 paisa or so so the currency uh, devaluation is uh, hitting us for emerging markets in russia even though in constant currency we are showing some growth and uh, in venezuela it is more of our own uh, measures that we have taken to calibrate uh, the sales there because uh, the repatriation during the quarter uh, was not nil but very very low so hardly any more dispatches we have made to venezuela so combined both these uh, currency impacts as well as the economy and this kind of deterioration which has happened in the economy of venezuela and consequently hardly any repatriation coming and our measures to calibrate the sales have taken its toll on the emerging market performance so far as r&d is concerned we have done uh, four new generic filings you have specifically written here three ndas and one nda and this one is basically 505b2 so with this now actually in our portfolio we have three 505b2s within the generics filing and uh, r&d as a percentage of sales has been lower during the quarter primarily due to some money that we got from mark serono as per our arrangements with them to uh, reimburse the cost of development and other contractual amount that we are supposed to get the highlights uh, recently from the property product business segment is getting two approvals and one tentative approval out of the three ndas that we filed in the last quarter of the last financial year and uh, going forward we would not like, we will now uh, commercialize these molecules and uh, these are molecules where we will expect uh, going forward it will create a good base for property products as we focus on more uh, pipeline in the portfolio the other highlight for the quarter is that uh, till last quarter we had a very low net debt equity ratio it was only 0.03 but as on 31st december it has gone the other way that means now we have a net cash surplus so the revenue uh, there has been 3% growth to 3968 crores and a gross profit margin year on year there have been 130 basis point improvement and r&d i explained the decline is primarily due to what we received from maxerono 
on the biologics part. So EBITDA, there has been you know decline of 4% year on year. And as a percentage of sales, it has also come down from 27.4 to 25.5. So if you look at the global generics uh, footprint in North America, there has been a healthy growth of 18% now. And Europe, there has been 14%. And India, as I said, 34% uh, growth. And even if you take off uh, the cutoff impact, even then the growth would have been uh, pretty close to 30%, which is pretty impressive for India. And uh, emerging markets, uh, there has been a year on one year decline of 28%, which has been uh, one of the major reasons for overall uh, financials, which we have declared this time that uh, there is hardly any increase in the net profit. 